Hello, in this video I'll talk about OCR and I'll explain uh, how I upgraded uh, uh, Paddle OCR in Sparrow to version 3.0. I'll show how it works and also I'll go through the code and explain how Paddle OCR is integrated into Sparrow. So this would make it more clear for you uh, if you would like to use Paddle OCR in your own projects or if you'd like to use uh, Paddle OCR integrated in Sparrow uh, for your own use cases. So let's look into uh, my remote machine where uh, Sparrow is running. Let me uh, let, let's enter the full screen. Okay, and so over here, let's see, <coughs> we have fast API application <coughs> with uh, Sparrow OCR inference endpoint, uh, and so this endpoint is relatively simple. You can upload the file or pass uh, image uh, through URL, and we can either include uh, bounding box information in the response or not, depending uh, what you need. Uh, for example, if you uh, want to, if you see that bounding box information is useful, then maybe it's included, otherwise not. Uh, what my point is that I'll try in the next, uh, uh, as a next step, I'll try to use this OCR information uh, along with original image, I'll try to pass it to the Vision LLM model and see if this would help to uh, process uh, large tables with many rows and with many columns. Because at this moment, uh, large tables, uh, uh, I, I see there is some degradation of performance and the quality of the response when we pass a large table with many rows and with many columns to the Vision LLM. Sometimes it struggles to extract all the data correctly when uh, the table is large, as I said, with many rows, for example. Okay, we here, let's execute this, and then trans, and we get back the response, so we get extracted text. Uh, we got text count uh, and average confidence here. So now if you look into the output, let's see where is the mouse. Okay, this is the one. Let's see, okay, here's the mouse. So, if we open output, uh, we can see that uh, we got some uh, images, and this is the result of uh, uh, which comes from the OCR. So, we can see that uh, OCR automatically. Uh, uh, makes uh, data annotation, it uh, labels um, different uh, segments uh, and it's able to join from the same line multiple words into the single segment, which is great. And uh, when I was testing other OCR solutions, uh, there was no such functionality out of the box. Usually uh, you would get uh, all the words uh, uh, separately and uh, uh, they would not be grouped together into the single block. With Paddle OCR we can uh, get uh, uh, multiple words, at least from the same line. If they uh, are close, relatively close to each other, then there's a high chance that uh, they'll be under the same bounding box. And I believe this information would uh, will, will be very useful for the Vision LLM uh, because it may offload some of the Vision LLM functionality uh, since we'll be uh, passing along with the image also uh, the text and with bounding boxes. So this may help to uh, Vision LLM to produce better response. So, but I'll be testing this in my uh, future work and of course I'll share uh, the video with the results about this approach. Okay, so this was executed in uh, five seconds or so and now if we 
uh, switch back uh, to over here okay here's the mouse and if I say that I would like to include bounding box in this case execute and let's see the result so we got extracted text all the text and uh, then we get also text regions here so we get text block and coordinates and confidence so we get another text block uh, and so on and so on then that this is the from the first line uh, and this is uh, goes from the from the second line yeah so i'll be trying uh, my idea is to try to pass this information to vision uh, uh, along with um, the original image and see if this would improve the result for the large tables or no hopefully it will and i'll share it with you now if we go back to the code so let's see okay this is the it's always uh, trouble because i'm switching from uh from uh, I'm using the remote desktop for Mac Mini where I run actually Sparrow and, and I'm recording from another machine. Okay, so here we got the mouse. And uh, yeah, so in terms of the application, okay, we don't need uh, the back output, this can be removed. Uh, so in terms of the application, uh, you can find it uh, in Sparrow under uh, Sparrow Data OCR folder and uh, this application contains API uh, script, which runs uh, fast API endpoint, and it integrates uh, Sparrow OCR router over here. And if you check requirements, you'll see that uh, uh, it runs now uh, Paddle OCR 3.0, which is the latest version, which was released in May uh, by Paddle team, and uh, uh, it, it says that uh, the accuracy and the quality of the result is uh, increased by 13% or so. If I'm not wrong, but I think I, I read this in, in the readme file somewhere. Uh, okay, and actual implementation is under inference endpoint. So we pass file image URL if such available. Uh, uh, and we pass a flag to include bounding box and uh, we pass a flag to uh, include uh, debug information optionally. So in case if we pass file, we do some processing here and uh, then we call invoke UCR method. Uh, and if we pass image URL, the same kind of similar processing is done and we also call invoke UCR method. And this uh, method uh, it calls uh, as a first step uh, load OCR model, and here we're using uh, Paddle 3.0 syntax to initialize the model. It's, it is different from uh, previous Paddle OCR versions, and we're using those parameters here uh, all false uh, because based on my testing, at least uh, for the effective data extraction, uh, all of them should be false and. Uh, uh, with those settings, the Paddle OCR produ is producing the most accurate text based on my t testing. So this is what I recommend. And this uh, <coughs> model is loaded once per all requests uh, to uh, save time and not to reload the model again and again when each uh, web request is coming to our API. Okay, then <coughs> uh, some uh, image processing is done to save image on disk temporary uh, because this way it's easier to pass image to the OCR and then we call OCR predict. This is also a new thing in uh, Paddle OCR 3.0. Previously uh, it was a um, different API method to execute uh, OCR processing. Then we get back the result and uh, uh, this, uh, if you look into the Paddle OCR readme there will be explanation uh, how to get the result using uh, result um, to JSON method. And this method will produce the file uh, with all the JSON structure for the result. Uh, this is good for the debug purpose, but in production it's easier to access the result using .json property. This way you'll get all the JSON from Paddle OCR without creating any intermediate files. Uh, and then we're using this uh, JSON structure and we extract uh, the text and bounding boxes if uh, 
uh, such flak is set, so we extract them from uh, from the resulting JSON and we construct our simple text which can be used later by the client. Okay, so this is all and my idea was to keep the code for the OCR uh, integration as far as simple as possible uh, to make it easier to be able to integrate it into your own use cases as well. So hopefully you'll find it useful and uh, see you next time. Bye.